Yellow everybody, Toast Bomb here, and about a week ago, the pro Halo player Dursky got a job at 343 as a community manager. Now this is awesome, it's amazing, he has a job, hopefully doing something that he, he really likes and he's going to enjoy, so... You know, all the props to him, that's amazing, congratulations, that's awesome, but one thing is, it's a very tough job. Community manager is a rough one, and I hope he knows what he's getting into, because it gets no praise, all you do is basically get yelled at 24-7 by angry people that don't like your game or are having problems with the game that you're representing. So congratulations to him, but I hope he knows what he's actually getting himself into. But one of the problems is that a lot of people saw this when the news released that he had been hired there. And they saw it and they went, oh man, this is awesome. Pro player there working at 343, man, Halo 5 is going to be sweet. Dursky's going to be there making decisions. He knows what we want. Heck yeah, this is going to be awesome. Well, you have to understand that that is not actually the case. I wouldn't be surprised if Dursky doesn't really even get his hands on this game, like even able to play it or see it at all until, you know, maybe even a week or two before release. So he is not in there. He's not in the meetings making decisions on, oh, should the BR be a five shot or a four shot? He's not in there doing that stuff. He's not a game designer. He's a community manager. And while you might think, well, oh, well, he should be, you know, playing the game earlier, all that stuff, because he's going to be managing the community for this game. That's a really important thing. And yes, you would be right. It is a very important thing. But one really big problem is that community manager is a position that is considered lower than QA, which... If you don't know what QA is, it is quality assurance, it's the game testers. And they get very low pay, and it's a really tough job where they're playing a single level for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours a day, and doing that over and over and over and over again, trying every little variable and little tiny thing, and they work their butts off, and then they barely get paid at all. So. Community manager is actually considered a lot of times lower than QA. And a lot of the reason for this is that the skill set required for this job is people skills, which isn't a very easily quantifiable skill like some of the other jobs are. Like, say, you know, you have a programmer, and the programmer's a really good programmer, and he's finding out all these really efficient, quick solutions to ideas really quickly, and it's making the game awesome, and it's improving the game. You can see it, visually see the game improving. And that's awesome. You're like, oh man, dude, that program is great. He's doing all this awesome stuff. Or similarly, you have an artist, and the artist is making really, really cool stuff, and it's making the game look better, which is improving the experience making the game as a whole better and you can visually see that happen and the changes to the game that are being made are very direct and while the community manager can change the game by keeping the community together and making it a really open and fun place for new people and helping people who are having problems all that stuff just making it an easier time for everyone playing the game while that does matter a lot to the end user, you don't see that in the physical game. You don't see the changes that are made right away, and a lot of those things, a lot of those changes are made post-launch. So about 99% of the people who work on these games don't get to see the things that the community managers do, and don't get to see why they are so important. So as a result, they're considered lower than QA, and this is generally speaking. I could be completely wrong the way 343 is run, but I'm just going off of what the more traditional style of how a game company runs. I'm assuming 343, owned by Microsoft, big business company, they're probably going to run this thing very traditional, and likely the community managers are in very similar positions as you'd see 
in some other game company. Now, there are places where, you know, this this strays and people are starting to realize community managers are really important as games start to move from less of a just a box thing here you go and more of a service with updates and the game evolves over time these positions start becoming more valuable so that is changing and seems to be getting better but as of right now generally it's it's not a position where they're in the trenches making decisions for this next game and it are going to have the influence over the programmers and game designers and developers whoever whatever position that has any sort of power over changing the game they're not there making those decisions and even like programmers like programmers a lot of times in really big companies they don't either because it's a really really big company and also it's not necessarily the company's fault you have to think of it like this where you are literally orchestrating thousands of people there's a couple hundred people in the studio that you are in physically right there like at the 343 headquarters there's probably a couple hundred people working on the game but then they're outsourcing to other companies like certain affinity so there's probably in total a couple thousand people working on the game and you're trying to orchestrate all these people so all the pieces fall into place which means you have to chunk these tasks down to really 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 minute pieces and give everyone a little chunk that they work on at a time and because it's all spread out across this huge amount of people, you can't have a very free-form development cycle where midway through you just feel like, oh, we're just going to completely change the direction of the game. Because, no, that won't work. They've just spent literally months making a design document that plans out how every single little thing is going to fall in place and how it's going to fall in place so that they minimize the cost and maximize the profit and they can get the game out by the release date. So it's not necessarily their fault that not everyone gets a say in how they think the game should be run and it's only kind of up to some of the more higher up people at least traditionally in a game studio because they just have to orchestrate all these people but anyways I just wanted to put this video out there and I also want to say um, this is not to degrade Dursky at all it's awesome that he got a position there this is this is not out there to degrade him at all it's great that he has a job and that's it's awesome I just want to let people understand what this job actually is about and what he's going to be doing so that when Halo 5 comes out and something is wrong with it that you don't like don't go screaming at Dursky because he didn't do his job because he did do his job he's listening to you and answering your question which which is which is what he's there for he's not even in the first place making that decision for the the thing that you didn't like so I just wanted to let you guys know that that is what's happening he's not most likely at least making giant game-changing decisions for Halo 5 and again just to congratulate him because that's that's super awesome that he's there working at 343 and I hope he uh, enjoys it but anyways that'll be it for this one if you liked it you can leave a like or a comment or you could subscribe because I post new Halo videos every day and yes every day now I'm gonna try and get back on this schedule you know school stuff's been crazy and then also we had Thanksgiving and stuff I was away from my equipment so hopefully we could start getting a little regular schedule coming back here get back on track and start putting these videos out daily for you guys because I feel I feel terrible when I when I literally have no time to make a video because I'm just doing all this homework stuff and it's it's ridiculous but anyways see you later bye